this is Gali Gopar and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier and happier place for you and I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. How are you doing today? I hope you're feeling good because today our quote of the day is follow your heart and intuition. They somehow already know what you truly want to become. Everything else is secondary by Steve Jobs. Sometimes you may be wondering whether the path that you really want to follow is right for you. So how do you know? You simply follow your heart. When we follow our heart, we can convince our head to join in. But when we follow our head, no amount of convincing will really bring our heart into it if it is not right for us. Your head will want to remain safe and secure. Your head may constantly be thinking what will happen if and what will happen if that happens while your heart may be adventurous and tell you to go after your dreams. Your heart relies more on instinct than on your past experiences or other people's experiences while the head goes according to what happened in the past. Therefore, the head is not really free. It is scared to try new things that are untapped by other people. When you make your decision so that your heart leads the way, then you can use your head for what it's good at, such as making the right adjustments to make your actions go smoothly and in the best way for you. When Jeff Bezos bought the Washington Post, it was a decision that came from his, his heart. He said that it had nothing to do with logic. He wanted to give freedom of speech, and this is what made him make this choice. Your heart will steer you in the right direction if you follow it. It will help you stay true to yourself and to your gifts and talents. Your heart will also help you stay on track with your beliefs and your values. And then you can really reach success as you personally define it for you. When you truly follow your heart, you will leave behind a meaningful legacy that you and your loved ones will all be proud of. When you follow your head, on the other hand, you will see that what you are doing is basically conforming to what is now acceptable. You will be busy seeking legitimacy from other people and from society, and you will become more self-centered. You will uh, most often be living a lie. You are much more likely to do things that are not aligned with your ideals, and when this happens, you are more likely also uh, not to be happy, but also to give up on the way. When you follow your head, you will actually never really know what is truly right for you. Your emotions may confuse you and you will not know whether this is really what you want to do or don't want to do. Fear will creep in and affect your thinking. You will generally be confused and will not be able to generate enough passion which will hinder your success in the long run. You... Uh, you uh, when you follow your head, your head may tell you not to do something because of fear of rejection or fear of failure or even a fear of success. Or your head may tell you to go ahead with something that is not right for you just because it is the logical thing to do and this is what everybody else is doing. When you act from your head, is, it most often won't lead to your happiness, but following your heart often will lead, most often will lead to your happiness. You will be doing what is right, not only for you, but rather you will be doing what is right in general. You will simplify your life. You will make bigger choice making much more easy. You will also naturally have more passion to what you are doing and you will want to work harder on your goals when you follow your, your heart. Everything will seem easier for you. You will naturally be willing to do what is necessary for you to succeed because you are being true to yourself. Your heart knows where you should be and with whom. Follow your heart and trust that it has the right answers for you. Your heart knows better as to what is good than your, than your head does for you. Therefore, the best goals are those that come from your heart and those are the ones that you want to follow. Warren Buffett says that you should take the job that you would that you would do even if you had enough wealth independently. When you do what you love, you will be willing to do it for free or even to pay to do it. And when you are paid to do what you love, then you have really hit the jackpot. You can know what is real for your heart by following this simple method that I use whenever I am up against a difficult decision. 
In my head, I follow through with my idea as if I had already made the choice. Then I examine my first feelings, the very first feelings, before uh, fear enters the equation. I know that if I allow fear to enter uh, and govern my choices, then I will not get very far. So I listen to my first feelings right after I follow through with the choice till the end. I also remove feelings of embarrassment of what other people think, as this may also stop my connection with my heart. And this is how I connect with the pure feelings of what my heart and intuition really want me to do. And I make the decision and follow through with it. But another step is that after I make the decision, I also recommend that you sleep on it. This is what I do. And then the first thing, when you wake up in the morning after, after a good night's sleep, you will notice how you, were, how you are feeling. This is your guiding light. Your feelings towards your choice will be obvious to you. The mood you are in first thing in the morning when you wake up will tell you if the choice is the right one for you or not. You can also connect to your heart when you are in the flow state, either during a walk by yourself or listening to music or when you're driving. When you let your mind wander, you will tend to get connected to your heart and you will get your answers from your heart. Once you have made the decision, know that it will be the right decision for you. And even if you did make a mistake, it's the right mistake for you to make it this time, which, will, which you can learn from and will lead you to improve yourself. When you follow your heart, you will be true to your purpose. Follow the path that will be guided by your heart and the world will open up for you. So as I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a question that you want to ask yourself so that the answer will help um, guide you to the right place for you. And the question of the day is, how do I feel about this choice? Does it make me feel stronger or does it weaken me? Am I really doing what I know to be right for me or am I simply doing what everyone else is doing or what I believe that I should be doing? Have the courage to follow your heart. Yes, it does take courage and uh, without courage, not much good can be accomplished. We all know that. So as a usual, I recommend writing the question and your answer in a notebook, especially prepared for these coaching sessions so that you can make sure that you're leading your life on purpose. To finish off, the affirmation of the day is, I lead a purposeful life because I allow my heart to lead the way for me. I lead a purposeful life because I allow my heart to lead the way for me. So tell this affirmation to yourself as many times as you remember to do so today because an affirmation has the power to completely transform your life with repetition. So I hope you liked this video. I hope you found it helpful uh, for making good choices for you. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel and ring the notifications bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. And please also visit my website, The Gorilla Diet, to help move your health and wellness to a better place for you. Thank you very much for joining.